Well, there's this thing called ledge dashing, which is really good, but only certain characters can really pull it off, like Fox has got a great ledge dash. Okay. Uh, it's basically, when you grab the ledge, you get some invincibility, and you just kind of like slide on stage and get like get like so like set number of frames that are actually invincible, but you can do stuff. Oh, it sounds... So it's really good. Unfair. It's pretty, yeah, pretty unfair, because it turns the ledge into like a strength. If you can do it, it's just if you mess up, you're gonna die. Uh, Peach is notably a character that has bad ledge options, but recently, or semi-recently, or at some point in history, it was discovered that she could do it in theory. Like she had a setup to do it, but it was like you know not considered humanly possible. Oh. But recently, Mr. McLeod here has been trying to prove that wrong, and has been able to do it in someone. Uh, but yet, and yet he cannot. It's the Mr. Edge guy. Sure, uh, he needs it. Doesn't need to be on the ledge. Yeah, he doesn't need it. Simply doesn't go off Yeah, it's like you you have to um you have to grab the ledge in a specific way. You have to up B to it with the parasol. If you grab it other way, it doesn't work. So there's a thing called. Do you think you know having a manually changed controller might be advantageous in that situation? Uh, it is because Sounds you need like to hit. To me. You need to hit a specific angle for it to work. But you can reliably hit that angle on other controllers too. Because it's possible on another controller. <laughs> uh, it's it's if you do it in the right way, there's oh, enough of a, there's it. enough of a window of angles that it's you, it's not that bad. Okay. You could especially if you notch it, it'd be fine. Like the controller I have uh, is also a box controller, but it doesn't let you set the angles manually, and the angle that you need is not on there. Oh, yeah. But if you do it like in the right way, it expands the, the length and the angle will work for it. Okay. So it's you know, even even that controller, which like you know, so I think it, you can't really ban it. I don't think because you know every controller can do it, and like you don't, if you put the practice in. So I just think we should ban the controllers. Yeah. I don't have anything against when I play the game, obviously. Right. Just, they kind of look ugly. That's not the reason. Really? I don't know. I kind of like the look of them more. Or certainly the feel of them much more. Well, Coffee Rexes, black on black, I'm down. Okay, so. Mr. It, McCloud, he's going like. Okay, we'll ban him on the color scheme. That's bannable, I think. Yeah, I it's think you're right. Yeah, color scheme. And that's easily enforceable as well. Gotta be dark mode. Yeah. And you know, if he doesn't let me just get a coat of paint and uh, look it out. That's <laughs> right. Ooh, the double hit. I don't know if he's gonna make it back from this. He is not. Pretty good at edge guarding this, this fellow. Certainly a thing all the young Peach, Peach players could learn from you. What we should do is we'd have, you can have your box controllers or we have a, a bot in every available place. For every available what? Like every angle. available place, yeah. So yeah. we don't tell you what the box is doing, it's a figure out the book of match. Oh, so you, you'd have to have it randomized. Then. That's right. He's an edge. Okay. Yeah, you just oh. randomize it at the side of the tournament <laughs> as you walk your way through. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, it depends how extreme you go. It could maybe work. Alright. That's pretty you good. Pretty competitive. Yeah, not, not bad actually. Not bad. Not a bad competitive match. Tell me about the matchup. Uh, You're a Peach player these days? Yeah, I am currently. So I would say historically, conventional wisdom would be that Fox is favoured. Uh, I mean, if you look at what's happening right now, he's doing. It's pretty hard for, for Peach to like approach, yeah. and he's really fast and can shoot the gun. Uh, and he's also just good. Um, got strong ways of killing her too. Yeah, so I'm just like up smashing. That, that stage is really high, like. Right? Yeah, this stage is a, is good. It's good for the matchup for Fox because it's both like lengthways. There's plenty of room for him to run around, yeah. and also the the ceiling relative to other stages is not that high. So you kill up the top, which Fox is good at uh, earlier. Both up throw up air and up smash, pretty good. But you know, McLeod, I think still favoured even on this stage. This is a course. Fox is kind of big, so yeah. you'd hope you favoured. Yeah, you would hope so. As a fox player. As a beach player, you might say, fuck this character. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, if you're playing Peach, there's a little bad thing to do. I suppose. Peach, uh, she is, like, so she's not that good at approaching, just because she's kind of fast. But she is pretty scary close up. Yeah, just press the uh, down on the she's uh, got C the, stick. Oh, she's okay. got that move, frame five, really fast, hard, you know, basically safe on shield. 
uh, and you know, sometimes even just shield poke if they got low shield. Um, you know, you can blow up crouch cancel, which is pretty important because their other moves aren't that good at beating, beating crouch cancel. Up your X up, please, Mother. Yeah, no, he's generally doesn't like losing the beach. Um, and she's got, like she's also got some some tech that other characters don't have uh, with a float, so she can float cancel moves. Uh, so she can do areas really low to the ground and also with very little lag. So she can actually like only the only character who can actually have plus on block like moves, more or less. Because like even Fox when he does his Nair shine or Falco when they do their aerial to shine, they're actually like slightly negative, even like in the better the best cases. It's like, just that shine is so fast. Because yeah, so it beats all the options that the other person could do on defense. Uh, whereas Peach can actually be like plus four. Which means if you then do the if you do it well enough, you can go straight to down smash and like there's a frame like it's like one frame upwards and there's no possible way they can interrupt it. And also if they're like low enough shield, it's like a guarantee sort of thing. Like even if they try and spot dodge or something, that's spot dodge is only invincible in frame two. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty tight. It's like yeah. Like so that's kind of neat. Yeah, uh, but you know. And that's like best case, it's plus yeah. four, I'm pretty sure. Whereas I think Fox best case in there is like zero on block or something. Like Falco, I think is the same. It's something like that. Yeah, All right. Buffy though, he's winning on this dude. He's just pretty good. <laughs> he's still winning by 14%. Well, he's got the invincibility, which he did hopefully descend with. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh, Looking pretty bad. Good. Knocked down all the juggles. Uh, that stack goes unpunished. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, he does like to go for those repeated shines like that, but I don't know if he should go for so many, especially against uh, someone like McLeod, where nice. he's gonna be looking to STI it. Yeah. And then you can get if you get counter hit there with down smash, it's like so bad, right? Because you're holding down to do the yeah, wave shines, and then you get down. hit like three or four times. And you know. Whoa. Ow. Whoa. Anyway. Man, what a thought, eh? But he's going for it anyway. Yeah, you know? I mean, if it works, it's good. You know? Best of luck to the person then. Anyway. Whoa, what are you doing? Nothing? You're ruining the stream for everyone. It must be, I'm not doing nothing. Ooh. What a tech. Oh, he goes, goes for the ledge dash there. The luckily, the thing about Peach's ledge dash is even though it's uh, really, really hard, if you mess it up, the angle is such that you don't die. Whereas the other characters, you will die. So, you know, swings and roundabouts is a benefit. Oh my god. Damn, that looked pretty brutal. It is cool to see a beach that's like, uh, really trying to push the, uh, the technical side of the character. And for a long time, a lot of peaches, they're not trying to do that so much. Or at least, not to the same level, anyway. Alright, he gets the last shot there, actually. Again, not punished. I guess coffee is both. I mean, it's a tournament set, so you know, understandable. But also, he's maybe perhaps not expecting the dash stack from someone like the car, but work it out. Alright. Doesn't lose too much from the invincibility. Gets a grab. That's pretty big. Gets out. Gets up pretty easy. It's another grab. Ooh. It's kind of a nice situation there. I wonder what he could have done to better abuse that. But that slide off worked out in a couple of Because you can get some cheap stuff with slide offs as the aggressor, but also I also get it as a defender sometimes. Alright. Let's pull the platform. Oh, you don't want to see that crisp punish, but. Crusher there was actually kind of nice. Crusher in the air. And he, I think he recognized it and tried to do a down smash, but he messed up and uh, didn't really show fast enough. He got spot dodge. Uh. Alright. A 
up smash, seal in the deal. I think Coffee is in this situation very similar to last game, but uh, of course, if I do not get this towards us, it's actually 2 0 currently to McLeod. For anyone just joining us. Uh, can they clear up get a swift 3 0 against the mask? Okay, there you go. It's actually 2 0 for McLeod. Uh, this is like second time on the set moment. Alright, ideally, he really wants to get something started, and that. Yeah, it didn't, wasn't so bad. Could have gone much worse. Here. But he did lose the spot. Uh oh. Another grab. Without moving and spacing just, to, just right, it seems. Alright, without trying to sort of push him towards the edge, force him to approach. Side B up here, there we go, the classic Fox maneuver. Sometimes you get hits like those and you convert and you, you win. You gotta take what you get. Alright, that's gonna be the pick. FD maybe? Yep, there we go. Strong punish on this stage. Of course, you get the chain grabs and Fox, uh, you know, any grab becomes pretty lethal. Yeah, I think the very, like, very early descents, you have to do down smash or something and Fox can maybe get out. But anything beyond a couple little bits, it's like grab to 100 or something percent off stage. Pretty easily. So. But, you know, Fox can do work on this stage too. Alright, going for the ledge dash. Messes it up, gets an air dash. Alright. Nice. Classic maneuver with Peach, uh, with any character really, it's just fiend out the, uh, the roll posture like you're gonna go in. Oh, wow, that was kind of good. Need a weak dash tags? Okay. Damn, powerful jab. Nice reaction with the, uh, the get up. Certainly something in McLeod is pretty cool. Think about really trying to optimize his punish game. Oh, no punish from that. Again, wanted to try and you know probably float out of it, do some aerial into down smash or grab. Yeah, tough. Up smash. Kind of outranges uh, Peach's moves a little bit there. Sort of like cool there, really. But even that, really. Oh, no reaction on the on the net. Just doesn't quite hit the reaction there, gets punished. But they're not too bad for any for all, thankfully for all the copyright fans out there. Yeah. Going to whiff punish. Okay, there we go. Goes for it. It's not bad because, you know, he's still invincible. It's a guess where uh, I think he probably still would have been invisible enough that he wouldn't really get punished for it. Oh, yeah, that's a big, big hit. Okay. Huge grab. What can Makai get up this? Can he? Get a stock, which is huge damage, you see. Yeah, it's like 40, 50% air dodges out, but of course it's no, no bueno. A weak dash tech again, nice up air kills. Wow. It's kind of sick. Yeah, again, I guess the spot, I guess the uh, power shot there, and tries to, wow. As they try to pass her down, especially gets on the running shine though. Oh! That would have been pretty funny. Jabs. Ooh, interception. Huge kill. That's. He's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Fox. Fox Gaming. Ah. Uh, unfortunate. There we go. GG's 3 1. 3 1 to McLeod. Did I win? You did, Peach. Well done. Uh, Mr. Hawkeye, so how do you choose different wave dash angles? Yeah, there are two modifiers. So there's, so for the controls, there's down, left, right, up. Like there's, there's four buttons. And then of course, if you're holding up forward, you get up forward, like in, in between. And then there's two modifiers to kind of go between that 